Today, we're going to take our digital rendering skills to the next level with an introduction to color. We're going to render a red Italian sports car on a white background. But first, I decided to do another round of thumbnail sketches, bringing together elements of some of the earlier thumbnail sketches that I liked, like the large dominant headlamps with an open, confident, expressive quality, the slim and sculptural body side, very lean, light, and agile, but very exotic and capable at the same time. And I'm getting into the side view, which is critical for developing a digital model, as we're going to do very soon. Now I've taken my favorite perspective, and I've blown it up to full screen, and I'm doing my cleanup overlay. I'm also going to take this opportunity to introduce the concept of cast shadows. As you can see, I've drawn these arrows to indicate the direction of light that is projecting a shadow onto the ground. It's very important that the shadow follow the planned shape of the car, but it can be shifted slightly uh, in one direction or the other uh, in accordance with the light source. It's very important to do it right because if you're not careful, a cast shadow will look like an oil slick. As you can see, I'm integrating the cast shadow directly into my graphic layer. As I start to block in my wheels, tires, lighting elements, glass elements, and other reflective elements. I'm now adding a second layer to my graphics for additional depth and detail. I'm also using this second graphics layer to give a hint of transparency in the glass by ghosting in part of the interior. Now I'm beginning to add my body color. I'm starting off with the reflection map with an emphasis on the horizon line as it defines the shapes in the body side. As you can see, there's a lot of different shapes and volumes coming together to give this body side a very dynamic, uh, athletic appearance. But going back to our lesson on reflectivity, the horizon line, uh, everything below the horizon line reflects the ground, everything above the horizon line reflects the sky. And the way that horizon line undulates across the surface uh, is an indication as to what that surface is doing. As you can see, I'm also adding a mirror image of the windscreen projected onto the hood. Adding a bit of shadow fade on the ground tone. And now I'm adding my sky tone. As you can see, this car doesn't look very red yet. It looks kind of burgundy. But what I'm really trying to do is, uh, is focus on that light and shadow. You can see I'm also adding a sky tone. Now I'm adding the red metal flake, the pearlescent glow. Um, so I'm taking a bright red and I'm glowing that across uh, where, where the light source is gonna be hitting the front corner of the car. And every surface that's turning back towards that light source is gonna get that red glow as well, like the far side front fender. Now I'm adding a hot spot on the front corner where the sunlight is hitting the vehicle and dispersing that metal flake glow across the entire front corner of the car. Adding some white highlights to help define some of the edges. Adding some depth to the intakes. Adding a, a halo on the far side of the greenhouse in order to blend it into its environment, but adding another sunlight hotspot on the windscreen. Adding my spoke details headlamp details, and other finishing touches. 
So you see how the focal point of the vehicle is that front corner where the light source is hitting and you have that bright red pearlescent glow from the metal flake. And as the surfaces transition away uh, from that focal point, they begin to reflect more of a mirror image of the environment with the sky tone, the earth tone, the horizon line, and reflectivity. And that's how you render a beautiful red Italian sports car.